Heart patients who are too sick or frail to have their valves replaced through open heart surgery are being offered an alternative. There's a 50% risk of death if left untreated, but a less invasive operation is helping them beat the odds. After being diagnosed with a heart condition, Ray Lee was given 18 months to live. But cutting edge surgery has changed that. Oh, that's just that hope, I suppose. The 87-year-old suffered from aortic stenosis. It's estimated 90,000 Australians over 65 have the condition. The heart valve narrows and restricts blood flow, in many cases leading to heart failure. So untreated aortic stenosis actually carries a very bleak prognosis where people will often be dead within a year or two. The heart valve needs to be replaced, but sometimes patients are too old or frail for open heart surgery. That's where less invasive core valve technology comes in. A narrow catheter is inserted through a leg artery and travels to the heart. There it expands and starts working immediately. The life-saving technology has already been approved overseas, but it's only available in Australia to a select few, involved in a trial at eight hospitals around the country. And under our research protocols, we're largely confined to patients over the age of 80, or if they're under the age of 80, they need to be high risk for open heart surgery. Around 800 Australians have been part of the clinical trial. The next hurdle is getting government approval to have the valves made more widely available. It's going to make a difference to your life, or it made a difference to my life. Tinika Everard, 7 News.